What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. And I'm Curtis. You know the vibe. Just seen the picture. you seen the thumbnail. You know why y'all here. Shine, Pentagon. Um, I don't know too much about them. Um, I know that people have been kind of requesting for them like a lot. And I've seen that they had made a lot of noise on YouTube um, for like a bunch of videos and stuff like that. Mm. Um, don't know anything at all. So I'm ready just to kind of dive in here. Of course. Let's see what we got. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that was nice. The piano edit with the keyboard of like writing. <laughs> Is that Dawn? I can't tell. Right there, Dawn, a uh, hyena husband. Might, maybe. I hear them vocals in the bank. Vocals are beautiful, too. Hey. Love the match cutting, too. Was cool. He was running that shit. <laughs> that cadence, man, he had the whole time. Besides the fact, <laughs> fuck that they they ran the vocal line ran that, but I'm I I swear to God I'm just like I think that was Dawn. Um, let me have a second to fact check real quick. Oh no, you good? Yep. Oh, for real? Yep. It's Dawn. Good catch. <laughs> <laughs> now he has kind of one of those faces where it's just like kind of yeah. acceptable, but. That's why I'm just like he kind of stood out, and he kind of had a lot of parts too. He let he you know yeah he started I believe he started the verse, um, I believe he started right here. Yeah, I believe he started the verse and everything too. So I'm just like, okay, bruh. <laughs> yeah. So is this Cube then? Um, because he's a past member, and then they still have all the other stuff. Are they still around? Pentagon, the South Korean multinational boy group formed by Cube Entertainment. Yeah, that's, then they had the falling out with Cube. 
mm. consists of nine members, originally composed of 10 members. Edon left the group and the record label on November 14, 2018. They were introduced to a Mnet survival show, Pentagon Maker. Pentagon released a self titled debut EP on October 10th, 2016. Um, group name Pentagon refers to them becoming a perfect group by completing the five elements that an idol must have vocal slash rap, dance, teamwork, talent, and mind. Okay, I ain't gonna go too far into some of this stuff because I'm pretty sure I want to fill the comments up. Um, Nah, but that's decent. It seems like Dawn and them was kind of jumping around on different groups and everything else because I know later on he's in the he's in the group with her later on and stuff in the co-ed group. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just to talk about this song in particular, it's a fucking bop. Um, the the vocal runs that was going on in here, they were not holding back. Um, especially for a song normally in this caliber, maybe towards the end of the song, you kind of might get like a vocal run kind of here yeah. and there. Um, they were flexing. Um, also, I'm assuming when this dropped, this must have been when this came out, when the whole... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, that wave. Yeah, like that wave. Um, I like a lot of stuff about this. I'm seeing a lot of personality uh, from like a lot of the different members. Um, I like the edginess of the clothes and kind of like the rebellious school kid aspects, even yeah. kind of shoving people in lockers and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but from what I'm gauging, they seem very, like, talented. Um, like I said, as far as just kind of, like, the rapping, singing, and everything, all like that, they clearly, like, have the look. This video is super clean. It looks like it's a nice budget behind, like, everything that's going on. I'm loving the color palettes, the aesthetics, some of the camera work and everything like that. Um, this was good enough to kind of warrant a second watch um, yeah. just to kind of look into a little bit more of the stuff. Um, I didn't do a deep dive after finding out that Dawn was a member and kind of, well, kind of no longer a member. So I don't know if the group is still active or what's going on. But that's why we have you Redeemers for because you're going to fill up the comments with information and let us know who this group is. <laughs> for sure. Um, but go off, Kurt. I, I think um, everything about the video was, was really well done. As you had said, I love that they're able to experiment and show their personality as well. Like something just, you know, as people who are just first viewing. Um like everything about the group and all. So they, the fact that they do have those personality moments within it definitely is something that resonates a lot deeper. Um, as you had said, the vocals were, were I mean, were beautiful, especially the, the runs towards the end. Um, and I also loved everything about the rap that was, that was integrated into the song as well. And it's just like, I know that's like the, the proverbial checklist of everything that, you know, we talk about on the channel and everything, but mm-hmm. it's just, you know, it, it still is nonetheless baffling to me to see how many different groups, new groups that we discover that just check off all of these proverbial boxes for us. Um, and it just, you know, it always makes you want to dive in and learn more about everything. Um, but nonetheless, as far as um, the video, I love the little love story that they were playing back and forth, um, even though they didn't particularly have to show a love interest of any kind or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the idea of just um, being at the keyboard. Everything in the, the video seems aged a little bit, like the, the, the lockers are rusty. Um, the school desks seem like they're a little bit aged as well. And then you have the old computer mm-hmm. and everything. But um, the opening of the song is basically, I've loved you for a long time. So theoretically, it would seem to suggest that they've been typing out all these messages of trying to express these feelings of love but being unable to. Um, or you type it out and then you're like, that's not quite right. You're analyzing everything. You know, this isn't going to sound right. <laughs> Delete, go back. And that's where all the, you know, proverbial um, crumbled up papers everything are Mm -hmm. um and i love that it's funny that you know when they finally embrace that side of everything you open the locker and all those notes fall out Mm -hmm. um it's kind of funny because it's literally a locker so it's like literally like something you're holding back containing uh storing away so just like little um visual motifs that can kind of echo a little bit of theme are always something that's going to stand out to me um i love in the lyrics as well um the idea of saying that this person is so beautiful they're like a deep-rooted tree um, you know, a flower blossoming, like made by God. Um, and in so doing how beautiful you are, me wanting to, to love you and latch onto you. I'm feeling like I'm a leech or like a parasite almost in a sort of sense where it's just like, you know, um, but yet in the video, you also see the flower growing from his shoe. Um, so it's like you're blossoming in feeling that love as opposed to hiding it away. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought all that was really poetic as well. And then by the end, you essentially get to a point where you're saying, 
like this love, this feeling, embracing this feeling is what's allowing me to shine. Like it's a good thing. It's something mm-hmm. that I've been holding back for so long that I'm finally allowing myself to feel, allow myself to be human. Um, and for better or worse, you know, that is something that's going to shine and radiate within you. And, you know, ultimately we talk about the human condition and just what it means to be alive and all those things. And, and love is, you know, one of the key aspects of that. So um, I, I love the poetry within everything as well as um, how contained the story is as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but now nah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more from this group. Yeah, just another one of those, um, when we always talk about like our proverbial checklist here, mm. the it's always a blessing when, how can I guess word this? I guess we already at this point established that most of the idols in the SK world Regardless of where they come from, we pretty much know the work ethic that's behind everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, because of how rigorous like the training is for any idol in any like company and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we have like a certain level of respect with kind of making sure we don't bash anybody at this point, mm-hmm. even if we're not feeling what's going on. But with that being said, when groups come in and they hit everything on our proverbial checklist, when it's like you guys have the look to stand on the wardrobe, the video is clean. The talent is there as far as like rapping abilities, vocals. And then after that, that's when you have like honestly, like kind of a second list. The yeah. second list is like, what's your concept? Um, what are your lyrics? Are your lyrics kind of like resonating with us? Um, are you guys telling a story? With, with your music video, even if it's shot beautifully and stuff like that, what is that conveying? Mm-hmm. Is it doubling down on the message of everything that's going on with like your lyrics and stuff? And that first proverbial checklist, those are all like the, okay, like this was cool. That second checklist to me, and I think to you, is the yep. checklist that'd be like, this group is a little unique or this mm-hmm. group is special. That you Once you start filling out that checklist, to me, that's the checklist where it's like, Let's do two or three more videos from this group or, you know, start kind of solidifying you in the top 10, top 15 and stuff. And they definitely started hitting off that other checklist for me Mm -hmm. where it just was like, okay, like you said, just some of the. It's already bad enough with most of these videos you have between like a three to maybe five minute window Mm -hmm. to convey whatever message that you want to convey. So when you can lyrically do that and then just add little key elements in, like you said, with locker room the age stuff the keyboard stuff and everything and start mm-hmm. kind of doubling down on i guess giving us double entendres of what you mean mm-hmm. with your lyrics and everything visual bars yeah <laughs> like you you start taking yeah. the music to like another level and mm-hmm. stuff like that so just you know to give you all a little bit of aspects i guess on like how we think about music and the video concepts and everything i just love finding new groups or new artists and being able to see yeah. that effort was actually put in some music Mm. Um, because that's another thing that's very, you know, very much, I guess, why I love a lot of the music here. The Sometimes I think you can see when music is just bullshit. Yeah. And you kind of can see when it was not really no thought process into it or anything else. In the K world, when, with SK world, when you see thought process was put into the lyrics, after that, the choreography, the music videos, and everything just all locks in on whatever core concept message was trying to be a stri- like, you know, distributed to, you know, the masses and for us to digest and then kind of go into it. Yeah. That loving care garners my respect. I think your respect and everybody else's to mm-hmm. where we just kind of want to see more content. But I yeah. all that to say, like, after watching this, I feel like I, I wish we had more time to just dive into, like, four or five more videos and shit. <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, my fault. Anything else you want to get off? No, yeah, I, I completely understand. Just to just to echo again, you know, I mean, you only do have maybe three minutes to kind of take um, a journey to allow someone to go on a ride and just you know take them to you know the the journey of your message. You know, take them on that journey, um, and it's it's always effective anytime a group can deliver. And I love the artistic, you know, just on the filmmaker side of us, and just knowing like just what those conversations were. Um, about everything like you know how's the best way to convey this metaphor does it have to be literal you know can I can I play with it a little bit can I experiment Mm -hmm. just all those creative conversations that must happen behind things like this is always something that's going to be special to me as well and for example um, oxymorons within the lyrics as well like um, you know my empty heart is is, uh, so vacant but my mind is full of thoughts Mm -hmm. so I love aspects of that where it's like you're you're you know your heart is so empty but you're yearning to to connect with someone to you know, 
to not feel alone, but then your mind is weighing you down because you're so full. So the, the full and empty opposites, mm -hmm. um, the, the oxymoron within that. Um, so just all the poetic, you know, elements that go into telling these stories and everything like that. Um, and then on top of that, you add that with either a crazy rap flow and cadence mm -hmm. or you echo that with beautiful, passionate um, vocals. So it's just you're, you're taking something that's beautiful. You're portraying it. You're writing it beautifully. You're visually presenting it beautifully. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the actual substance on the song, like, you know, the, the flows and cadences or the the um, the audi audibility of it. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, yeah, that's just like a triple threat <laughs> in and of itself. Yeah, look at these poetry shit. Like, a flower beautifully made by God. Don't disappear. Don't change. Even if I like you, nobody knows. I just feel like they be... William Shakespeare in it up a little bit and stuff yeah. like that, like with the, and ironically sometimes uh, like in America when sometimes like people do rapping or singing it kind of sounds poetic. Mm. Sometimes it can come off ultraly like cheesy, mm. or um, you're you're either like kind of too on the nose, or sometimes it's just like just one of those situations where we might hear that bar and just be like. I know, but funny enough, I don't know why that also, when you brought up Shakespeare, reminded me of the, the um, uh, Wu-Tang bar and Wu Gambino's with uh, Ghostface when he said pens and gear like Shakespeare, mm -hmm. but it was like, the, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so that, you know, Got you, to. but um, so you have that moment where you like, you know, it's Shakespeare like in the pen, the penmanship, but also the, um, the spear in Shakespeare is like, you know, metal and, you know, obviously mm -hmm. gang members like Toten, mm -hmm. like guns and everything. So just anytime you can deconstruct, um, and convey a message, but do it beautifully. It was just when you said Shakespeare, like the poetry and that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, it really does harken back to like those kind of elements, but, yeah, yeah. You know. but that, but that literally that mm -hmm. way of thinking is my mindset exactly. with, with mm -hmm. uh, a lot of what, what, what goes on here. Cause like yeah, we said, there's so many sure. kind of double entendres and so many different, layers of of things here and shit. Just yeah, literally yeah. that. To just say like it's all yeah layers of, of things here. And I just love how this form of poetry mm. doesn't come off as ultraly cheesy or just anything no, else. You're able just to kinda give dope concepts and dope and dope different feels and stuff like that and do it on a song and still make shit seem upbeat, poppy and everything else. Yeah, for sure. Because I guess in America it's well, I wouldn't say it's easy to make a pop track because I think that's a disservice to people who actually like mm. write like those pop songs that go like number one and everything like that. Because yeah. if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, and I mean that in the sense of like, you know, everybody is trying to get those like number one hits and everything all like that. Yeah. For them to be able to kind of convey a pop song but still have substance and everything else, I just I think that's very decent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anything else from there? Though? No, I'm good. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other tracks we should jump into. Um, I know Dong left, but I'm pretty sure they probably still had like a bunch of different mm -hmm. MVs, tracks, and stuff all like that before he dipped. Mm -hmm. And if they're still around and they didn't disband or anything, let us know. Give us some information in the comments. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that's why we're here. We want to be able to talk to each other, fill each other's mind up with information, and have conversations that no one else is having on YouTube. So love you guys. Sure. We're going to holler at y'all. Love y'all. Peace.